We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Malcolm Rodriguez, linebacker for the Detroit Lions. If you follow on this channel or you saw my NFL draft college film breakdown on Malcolm Rodriguez, you know I was a big fan. He's looking like a late day three steal for the Lions. He's already a big time contributor, a uh, very high instinctive player, pretty solid athlete up front, already really solid run defender, making some plays and coverage as well. Just a really nice pickup for the Lions. So let's get right into this one. Second and one, Rodrigo does not get the tackle on this play, but he's able to disrupt this. He sees this gap, open up his gap responsibility. He sees the big open space. So he understands that he can take this opportunity to shoot downhill. He's responsible for this A gap right here. They motion in, they're running outside zone. He sees the center take this step this way, gets down. Stays square to the line of scrimmage, but dips that shoulder underneath. A great job here from a technical standpoint. Starts to break down, staying square. Forces Pollard to make a quick cut, and then gets help from his teammate. Just great job fitting into the run here. He does everything that he's supposed to. He stays disciplined while shooting a gap. Love that aggressive, disciplined play. It's like a great combination of the two things right there. And then able to force this tackle for loss on a second and one situation. Just great job knowing, the being aware of what's going on around him. So really good play there by Rodrigo. Rodrigo does a pretty good job of taking on uncovered O-linemen. This is a very important trait to have as a linebacker. Great job dropping his shoulder into the lineman there. Like this is a very tough scenario to be in. When this tackle is uncovered, no D lineman in front of him. And he just gets a free like release basically to get to the second level on the linebacker here. Rodrigo shows off the nice processing to see the you know movement of the O-line. He keys and diagnoses this. He's moving faster than everyone else. Then drop the shoulder, get his head across the O-lineman. Because if this O-lineman gets his head across, Rodrigo loses the rep. Drop the shoulder and then get down, help make this tackle for no gain right there at the line of scrimmage. Another high level play, you know, that's his third and short situation near the goal line. Great stuff there from Malcolm Rodriguez. Rodrigo does not get the tackle on this play, but just look at the instincts. Like he is not responsible, you know, for the end around. Uh, that's the backside edge defender who does a good job staying disciplined and making the tackle there. But Rodrigo is not responsible for this at all and he recognizes this so fast able to see everything when you have this kind of eyes look he's already prepared for it is seeing this receiver out of his peripherals he's already preparing to change directions here able to stop his feet he's reading the mesh point great job would have been there to make the tackle just highly instinctive you just don't see this out of a lot of rookies especially you know a late round rookie linebacker his instincts were always super impressive he always played with great technical skill as well. Just understands his job and what he's supposed to be doing. And he's an underrated athlete too. Uh, tested pretty well, better than you would think than the film shows. But he makes some plays that you wouldn't expect for this type of linebacker. Rodrigo blows this play up. I love his click and close. That trigger to get downhill. He sees the pulling alignment and he just gets there right at the point of attack. Like he is getting downhill in a hurry. Once he sees this alignment, get up. You can tell even pre-snap, he's probably prepared for this just based on the old linemans, you know, sort of leverage. He's kind of leaning back a little bit here, ready for the pull. He sees him pull and just gets downhill in a hurry, scrapes over the top, takes on the tight end at the point of attack, and then helps blow that play up right in the backfield. Amazing play from Rodrigo. Definitely has the instincts to work, you know, versus pulling guards versus gap scheme runs. Knows where he's supposed to be. He saw him versus zone runs earlier, so just an all-around good player versus any type of run concept. The blitz, the motor, everything on this play, love it. He's the one that disrupts this, makes them throw the screen a bit early. Defenders on his team do a great job, uh, sort of slowing down, making Stevenson change direction here. And Rodriguez, Rodrigo never gives up on the play. He shoots this gap. Love to see him, you know, dip the shoulder, rip, uh, show some nice burst there too. Even loses his balance, but is able to recover. And then they throw the screen, and uh, he does a great job not giving up on the play effort motor you know wrap stevenson around the leg right there great great stuff love when a player plays with that type of competitive toughness you, you really really want that out of one of your you know middle linebackers on the team if you're gonna be an nfl linebacker you got to be able to at least spot drop in coverage rodrigo does a great job here uh doesn't end up you know getting the ball thrown his way but just look at him drop into his depth here get to his spot and then his eyes are able to locate the receiver 
running you know the drag concept coming into his zone so great job great zone eyes great awareness and you can see a nice little quick transition to get downhill to make this play knows that he doesn't have to you know gain any more depth knows that this safety right here is responsible for the number two and he has the only thing that can really threaten his zone right here so he gets downhill in a hurry, hurry. nice to see him match that really good job playing top down and then getting aggressive uh don't see a, a lot of linebackers you know just keep gaining depth there don't really see that and then ends up you know getting a free you know dump off to receiver running backs those types of situations and rodrigo does a really good job rodrigo has an amazing processor he is so quick at diagnosing all these plays another gap scheme run just gets so quick to the hole and is just this close he's inches away from making so many big time stops that are like superstar level plays for a middle linebacker and just able to key you know the tackle pulling he's working his triangle read you know working from the running back and then to an old lineman and then sometimes it would be a tight end not in this scenario because he's on the other side of the field but just reading this getting to your spot seeing that the tight end is trying to block him and he almost dips around him while staying square like this is incredible change of direction skill to just stop on a dime to the right change to the left and then bend back around the tight end and then get hands on to even slow stevenson down constrict the run lane the ability to get into his gap responsibility with uh you know the amazing mental processing but also the athleticism combined with it and then he's physical at the point of attack when he needs to be really really impressive stuff there rodrigo just been an absolute demon versus the run this season great job working through the trash got to be able to sort through all this trash all this stuff that's going down going down here he sees the down block then keys the pulling guard gets downhill in a hurry he loves to make plays near the line of scrimmage and then able to dip underneath the tight end right here avoid that block and then make the tackle right at the line of scrimmage just processing at such a high level seeing everything that's going on around him and then able to get down fill into his spot he's here so quickly the tight end's not even prepared for it and he just blows these plays up continuously it's a consistent thing that he is doing he's an amazing amazing run defender another highly instinctive play from rodrigo king the screen he's in man-to-man -man with the running back here it looks like he's blitzing uh he sort of fakes out the alignment here look like he's gonna blitz and then he's able to adjust readjust that angle and then make you know the five yard tackle for loss he's just coming downhill he sees the alignment you know start to work outside something's not right he sticks that foot in the ground and then makes this tackle on the running back super super instinctive play he's just making these changes on a dime reading stuff and i think you know after you've been watching this video or the other video i posted on him a long time ago you know i'm a big fan of his game and i honestly think he can still even get better which is impressive just with his skill set i think there's still things that he can improve on that are you know likely to happen so gonna be a really good player for the lions for years to come look at the impressive recovery ability here the balance the core strength to get pushed like this from an alignment like obviously it's hard to take an alignment on at the point of attack and he attacks the low hip this is how defenders get moved to attack their low hip and he gets pushed but he's able to stop quickly take some choppy steps and then meet walker in the hole square him up and not get run over here like this is impressive like you are off balance recovering everything is thrown off and you're still able to square up a pretty powerful running back in the hole and not get pushed back that is some impressive stuff i know it may not seem like much to some people you know just making a routine tackle but when you're put off balance like this in this situation and still get in your hole recover and make the tackle really really good stuff there from rodrigo rodrigo brings you know a presence as a blitzer he's very willing to come in destroy some running backs does a good job with his effort as we've seen so far on his blitzes getting pressure on the qb getting some hits just making everything uncomfortable he also does has some nice bursts too he tries to set up a plan he's not like the best blitzer ever but you know taking some choppy steps squaring up the running back pushing him back into the pocket into geno smith and then not giving up shedding the block and then you know forcing a throw away so you know another good rep uh blitzing definitely makes an impact in pretty much every area that you can as linebacker versus the run versus the pass blitzing and coverage all those types of things so yeah another nice play there from rodrigo last play that i'm gonna break down from rodrigo just him making a tackle for loss this is how he gets there 
just reading these plays so phenomenally. Just great job gap replacing because Aiden Hutchinson, I believe that's Hutchinson, 97, right? Yeah, shooting to the inside. So he has to scrape, get over the top, fill this gap right here, and he does. Able to get there so quickly, uses that left hand, gets it under to win the leverage battle versus the left tackle while staying square, changing directions on a dime. Just a super, super good play right here. Like, about as good as it gets versus the run, you know, when you're gap replacing like this, getting the outside based on your pre-snap alignment to just post-snap while staying square under control. He does a great job of moving fast downhill, but staying under control with his body and then changing directions. Uh, getting the tackle for loss on there from Gibson really really nice play right there and just Really enjoyed watching his film overall. It was very impressive. There was obviously some stuff he could work on Not all plays were amazing, but you know with a late round rookie. He looked definitely better than people would expect um, Definitely gonna exceed expectations for a lot of people. I know the Lions fans love him He became like a fan favorite after hard knocks, but um, and I was also I was a big fan of him coming out of college uh, at Oklahoma State big time player for them. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.